Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to override the string method or the str method for a class. So pretty much anytime you print an object, it is going to print the string representation. By default, you get something like this, which says the type and memory address, which is not the most pretty representation, so you can actually override this and create your own. So to do that, it's going to be very similar to the way we created this initializer here in that it's going to have two underscores at the beginning and end. So let's go in here and we'll just put this after our is long method and we'll just say def underscore underscore stir underscore underscore parentheses and then pass in self. All right, so here is where we can define the string representation of our objects. All we have to do is return a string. So just to show you guys, I'm just gonna say return the string five and running this and we get five five. That's because it invokes this stir method every single time we print an object. Obviously we don't just wanna print five, so let's customize it, do some string formatting. And I'm actually gonna do an F string here. So with this, anything that's a variable you can put inside of curly braces. So we'll just say self.title and then is the number of pages, self.pages, and then I'll just put the word long. All right, run it now, and it says, are you my mother, is 72 long, and I forgot the word pages, so 72 pages long, the diggingest dog is 72 pages long. That is a much better string representation, and that is how you do that. So when we pass an object to print, it's automatically going to invoke this method on the object. Well, there you go, guys. In the next video, I'm going to be teaching you how to override another method so that we can compare books to see if they are the same. Stay tuned.